I don't know, but I, I'm not expecting that. I'm going to dump it. So it stops the timer, purges the frames, and sets the can send to true, and then it's re ready to do it. So uh, this is uh, the – oops, I made a mistake. Uh, this is not the receiver side, okay? Uh, this is still the sender side. Okay. So sender side is doing this, but uh, if the timer happens, right? So receiver frame, if there's not corrupted, then it goes ahead and uh, says, okay, I have received the acknowledgement. This is for the one that I have sent. And if the acknowledgement is for the frame that has been sent, matches SN, then it stops the timer and then dumps the previous frame number and goes ahead and sends the next one. Okay, if it doesn't, then it has to do the start timer thing, okay? On the receiver side now, this is what happens, right? Uh, it sets that receiver number, goes through this loop, and if the fra corrupted frame is received, then it goes to sleep, doesn't have to do anything, the timer is going to expire on the other side, and then data will come back again. If the data comes in, everything is okay with the data, there's no problem, then it extracts the data, and changes the number saying, I expect the next frame, and sends the acknowledgement saying, send me the next frame. Okay? Any questions? Okay, so I do want you to go ahead and understand both of these in the basic things as to how frames go back and forth, and we'll see the picture like the earlier one as to a scenario for an actual situation. Now, unlike the other ones where the frames are going just back and forth without any problems, there are many scenarios that can occur. There could be communication with no problem, or a frame can get lost, or uh, acknowledgement can got, get lost. So we'll go through that scenario. 11.3 uh, is a very important figure, and to be able to represent that, 